Ecology. Ecology is a study of distribution and abundance of organisms, their interactions with other organisms, and their interactions with their physical environment. Pollution Ecology Population abundance and distribution and described by the following terms. Size, density, dispersion, and age structure. Population ecology. Growth, abundance, distribution. Population growth. Biotic potential. Carrying capacity. Limiting factors. Factors that prevent population from reaching from biotic potential. An example of density dependent factors are Ursula. She's like the parasite because she has to feed off of um the animal the little sea uh, because she feeds off the fishes in the sea. And an example of density independent is like climate control, like when Prince Eric was she was she wrecked on the storm the storm and landed on the sand and Ariel rescued him. Survivorship curves describes how mortality of individuals and species varies during lifetimes. Here's a graph of age structure and here's a survivorship curve. As type 1 curves describe species in which most individuals survive to the middle age after that age mortality is high. Humans exhibit type 1 survivorship. Type 2 curves describes organisms in which length of survivorship is random. Type 3 curves describes species in which individuals die young. Community of Ecology Community ecology is concerned with the interaction of populations. One form of interaction is introspective competition. When two species complete exactly the same resources, and then the resource partitioning is some species consist of in spite of part competition from the same resources. Realize niche. The niche of the organism occupies abundance of competing species of fundamental niche. And multilism is when both of the species both benefit. And the next one is when when one benefits and one stays neutral. And the next one is when paradism when one benefits and one ends up probably dying. The flow of energy in ecosystems. There are different flow charts to demonstrate how each energy flows through the ecosystem, showing who eats whom. The arrows use these flow charts to indicate the direction of energy flow. A food chain is a liner flow chart who eats whom. For example, the food chain depicting energy flow in a savanna. A food web is compounded or a more complete version of food chain. It would show all the major plants in the ecosystem, various animals that eat plants, such as insects, rodents, zebras, giraffes, and antelopes, and the animals that eat the animals, lions, hyenas, jackals, and vultures. Anthropic levels, the producer, herbivore, primary, secondary, tertiary, and decomposes, transfers energy between tropic levels. Biochemicals are hydraulic, carbon, phosphorus, and neutral cycles. The flow of essential elements form from the environment of living things and then back to the environment. 
Biodiversity, the number of species, niches, and tropic levels in the ecosystems and the complexity of its food web. Dominant, keystone, invasive, habitat zone, climate, and latitude. You can see here that aerial has biodiversity with all the other species in the water. Humans impact on ecosystems. Humans have a big impact on humans on ecosystems because they cause global warming, ozone depletion, deforestation, acid rain, pollution, reduced reduction of species, and desertification. And that concludes our lesson on ecosystems.